So AMD's just released their latest generation of Ryzen 2 series processors. These are extremely impressive in terms of the performance. They not only offer a huge amount of threads and cores, but they also offer a lot of overclocking capabilities. In fact, the entire range supports overclocking. Now, when you talk about the highest level of performance, you're probably gonna be interested in the best performing motherboards out there. And unquestionably, the benchmark in the industry when it comes to gaming enthusiast motherboards is gonna be ROG series motherboards. And for this latest generation X470 chipset, the ROG series boards are gonna be bringing you a very special board in the brand new Crosshair 7 Hero. One of the most important aspects when looking at an enthusiast motherboard is gonna be the overall look and feel, or the board's aesthetics. In this regard, the Crosshair 7 Hero is an outstanding board. It follows the design trend of previous generations, but ups the ante and offers some really distinctive functions and features to really let you define the look and feel of your build. First and foremost, the board is fully monochromatic. That means that there's no fixed colors to contend or compete with the look and feel of your system. You can go ahead and define whatever colors you want. And when it comes to actually selecting your colors, the board features two fixed RGB lighting zones one in the IO shroud, and then another in the PCH area. These can be fully controlled through ASUS Aura Sync. Now, speaking of ASUS Aura Sync, you have a lot of connectivity available to you on this board with four total headers, two legacy 5050 RGB headers, as well as two addressable digital headers. Now, for a lot of the users out there, we've had feedback that they're looking to be able to go ahead and go in the entire opposite direction of RGB lighting and go for a more stealth blacked out look. And in this regard, the Crosshair 7 Feet Hero is gonna be the first board that features our integrated stealth mode. So through an option that's available in the UEFI, you can fully disable every single light that's available to you on this board. So if you're looking to really have a fully blacked out build, this is gonna be a perfect choice for you. So with a board like the Hero, it's not just about the aesthetics or the look and feel. You definitely are concerned about overclocking. In fact, many enthusiasts pick ROG series motherboards specifically for their overclocking design and overall capabilities. In this respect, the Crosshair 7 Hero has really been purpose-built to offer a truly impressive overclocking experience. It features a far more robust VRM than our Strix series boards. It's gonna feature significantly upgraded power componentries with 10K rated capacitors, NexFET MOSFETs, and advanced power stages. In addition to that, the heatsink design is very high-end. It features a two-stage heatsink with a heat pipe that connects both of them together, helping ensure extremely good temperature performance even under full loads. You're also gonna have the inclusion of a specialized external clock generator. What this will allow you to do is essentially decouple other buses from influencing the CPU frequency. Many times, if these buses are actually all maintained and linked together, it can artificially limit the maximum CPU overclock. So with ROG series motherboards and this external clock generator, you'll be able to decouple them and be able to take your CPU overclocking even further. And for users that are, of course, interested in DRAM overclocking, rest assured that ROG series boards will continue to offer the absolute best memory overclocking available on the AMD platform. Going in hand in hand with overclocking is gonna be cooling. And in this regard, the Crosshair 7 Hero really offers tons of specialized design implementations, which are really for those enthusiasts that wanna take things to the next level in terms of their control and their monitoring. So of course, you're gonna have all the standard connections you could ask for in terms of support for standard chassis fans, whether they're gonna be three pin or four pin. You can fully calibrate them and profile them, of course, within our operating system uh, via our Fan Expert 4 software, or of course, you can jump into the UEFI and take care of there as well. Now, for those more demanding enthusiasts that want more targeted control, you also have temperature input mapping so that you can have your fans respond to either the CPU temperature or the GPU temperature. But where things, I think, get really interesting is gonna be the more specialized level of connectivity. First up, for water cooling enthusiasts, you're gonna have dedicated options for detecting the actual water flow as well as water temperature inlet and outlet. So this is gonna be great in terms of really seeing how your actual custom water cooling loop is performing in real time. In addition to this, for enthusiasts that are gonna really have larger builds and they're gonna have a lot more fans in their system, having the ability to have our fan extension card equipped it on this board really is gonna offer you even more fan connection options with three dedicated headers for more fans as well as three additional temperature sources. Add to this the fact that all of the actual fan headers that are on this board support PWM output mode. This will allow you to go ahead and actually use a PWM fan splitter cable on one header, but have three to four fans connected to that one header. This is perfect for high performance radiator configurations, front intakes, 
or top fans uh, that are set up in an intake or an exhaust configuration in your build. We also have to account for M.2 drives. The Crosshair 7 Hero features a high performance, specialized M.2 heatsink design to be able to help to ensure that you get the most stable and cool operation for the highest performing M.2 drives that are out on the market. When you add this all together, you're really talking about the absolute best experience that's possible for cooling your overall system when based off an X470 motherboard. Now, equally as important on a motherboard is going to be the overall connectivity that it offers. In this respect, the Crosshair 7 Hero comes really packed to the gills with tons of connections. You've got 14 USB ports and quite a bit of different mix when it comes to these ports. You've got USB 3.1, both Type-A and Type-C. You have full support for USB 3.1 Gen 2 in terms of an internal header for the latest generation of chassis. For current generation chassis, you have a standard front USB 3 header, and you're also going to have a standard gigabit ethernet port and have the latest generation 802.11 AC dual band Wi-Fi with multi-user MIMO support. Now, for those of you who are interested, can you game on Wi-Fi? You definitely can do so, especially with this board. In fact, with a current high performance router, you can expect speeds that are between three to four times faster than a standard 10100 ethernet cable and with extremely low latency. You've also got all the traditional connections you would expect in terms of expansion for storage, such as dual M.2 with support for PCIe NVMe protocol, SATA 6G, as well as your standard PCIe slots. Another special area on the Crosshair 7 here is going to be the overall audio design. This being an ROG motherboard, they definitely the expectations are high, but the board definitely delivers. It features a very impressive audio design that includes full ROG audio isolation. It's fully shielded to help to reduce interference, and it also features audio grade capacitors as well as dedicated operational amplifiers and the inclusion of an ESS Sabre DAC. When you combine these all together, you get a couple of really nice benefits, regardless of whether you're gonna be in music, movies, or games, you're gonna get improved tonality, increased sound stage, increased volume levels, and you're also gonna have a huge amount of customization options available to you within the Sonic Studio 3 interface. Last but not least is gonna be a really special implementation for the audio side, which is gonna be very beneficial for those of you looking to be able to take your VR immersion to the next level. And this is through the inclusion of our Studio Link software. This one combined with the options that are available to you in terms of customizing the overall audio experience uh, within Sonic Studio 3 allows you to go ahead and take those optimizations and apply that to your VR headset. So this is the first time in terms of motherboards being able to offer this type of tailored audio experience, whether you're gonna be talking about it in your music, movies, or games, as well as in VR. Now for many gamers out there, networking is gonna be just as important as let's say audio or overclocking on a motherboard. And in this respect, the Crosshair 7 here definitely is gonna be offering an impressive level of networking connectivity. You've got an Intel integrated gigabit ethernet port on board, uh, which also features our LAN guard design. That means you have specialized uh, design implementations which enhance the overall reliability, especially from electrostatic discharge, as well as from surges and spikes. Many users don't realize that you can commonly receive actually surges and spikes through your actual ethernet port that actually can cause downtime to your gaming experience. And beyond this, you're gonna also be able to fully control the overall networking experience when it comes to your gaming setup. And this can all be easily achieved through the Game First 4 Packet Priority software. Whether it's optimizing your browser, your latest download, or of course the latest game that you're jumping into, you can easily prioritize to make sure that you get the best connected experience for whatever you're running at hand. So bringing it all together, I think when you take a look at all the different aspects that we've talked about for the Crosshair 7 Hero, whether it's gonna be the overall build quality, it's overclocking capabilities and design, the aesthetics, the audio and the networking, or of course the extensive functionality when it comes to the cooling and the connectivity for cooling, you can definitely see that this is gonna be an outstanding board, especially if you're a true enthusiast and looking to be able to offer the highest level of performance for the latest generation of Ryzen 2 series processors. So if you're really looking to be able to build an awesome gaming system, you're definitely gonna to wanna to take a closer look at the Crosshair 7 Hero.